Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Is YouTube? Where is you? Hmm. Having some issues here with our connection this morning. Now here I am up on the north end of Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. It's around 6:45. Still seeing dead fish washed up on the beach. The smell is not uh, overpowering. Not a lot of wind here this morning. 67 degrees. The tide's just starting to come back in. We're pretty much at low tide right now. As far as I can tell, the red tide is still here. I haven't heard report saying otherwise. I mean, the fish are still washing up on the beach. But like I said, it's the smell is not bad here. Yesterday, boy, it was burning my eyes. It was really windy yesterday, so. So far, so good here this morning. Del Norwegans Pass State Park up there to the north. I'll take a little stroll down the beach here for a couple minutes. I'm taking air quality samples with my nose. <laughs> Very scientific operation. If you hear me coughing, you know it's bad. Right now that wind's kind of coming out of the southeast. So that's kind of a good thing as far as the red tide goes, keeps it, pushes it a little bit offshore. But later today, that wind's supposed to shift around again, come in from the west. So that is a bad thing. That's when we risk the chance of the red tide blowing back up towards us. Like I said, there are dead fish on the beach. They are fresh. <laughs> they just washed up during the last tide change. There's one right down here, but I haven't seen, seen them piled up yet, so that's always a good thing. I don't know if they're up at the high tide line back here. We'll take a peek in a minute. But I am kind of seeing them all out in this area, here and there. down by the water line. Well, it's nice out here, the temperature, really nice. So it looks like the rake might have been out here this morning running up and down, cleaning up the beach. So that might have got a lot of these dead fish that were sitting up here at the high tide line, the, high, the rack line, but eh, it didn't get all of them. It just it can't pick them all up. See, there's one. Sometimes it kind of buries them too, so that's why you got to be careful. I got shoes on right now. Don't want to step on any dead fish. It might happen to be buried. Once was enough. 
Yeah. See in between here where the rake missed. Normally they're not even out here on weekends with that thing. They're trying to keep the beach as clean as they possibly can right now. So again, if you're just tuning in, yes, we're still dealing with the red tie, but as of right now, this time this morning, the smell is not, I don't even smell it, to be honest with you. I don't smell it. All I smell is the dead fish. So let's hope it stays that way. Not that the dead fish smell is good, but definitely don't want any more red tide. We'll see how those folks do this afternoon. I'll be switching over to our Facebook page, Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page, when I conclude this live feed for my Sunday morning beach walk. We'll walk down the beach and see how things look here in North Naples. We'll walk down towards the Ritz-Carlton, Pelican Bay. So tune in on Facebook if you're not doing anything. Meet some of our beach family. You got some awesome people following along on Facebook. A couple of them on here watching. Well, so far in the little stretch of beach that I've walked, it's better than it was yesterday and way better than it was last Thursday. Boy, yesterday I was, man, I was having a tough time. It was just because of that wind. There was waves and wind, and that's a bad combination with red tide, you know. Wind stirs things up, puts that red tide crap in the air, and wind blows it all around. My eyes, actually my eyes were burning when I got home yesterday. I was like, ah, dang it. I knew I should have left earlier. <laughs> have red tide right now I'd be out in the water that water is really shallow out there right now my advice is still probably stay out of that water wait until we get our next report on where the red tide is but yeah, the thing about this red tide is it just comes and goes. It could get really bad this afternoon or get really nice this afternoon or vice versa. You just don't know. And, and a quarter of a mile down the beach, it could be a whole different animal down there. It's just out there in pockets. And it's all about the wind and the currents. So you just really never know. Even, you know, when they try to predict where it's going, Noah tries to predict where it's going. It's pretty darn difficult. It's harder than predicting the weather. <laughs>
Hey, if you appreciate my efforts, I try to keep you informed the best I can here. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. If you want me to keep on doing this, let me know. You can show your appreciation. Tips are hugely appreciated, by the way, especially right now. This is D-Day for me, the fifth of the month, when rent and all that good stuff is due. So tips are hugely appreciated right now. Every dollar counts. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Apple Pay and Venmo. I'm seeing a few more dead fish on the beach in this area here. Hmm. A few more here and there, unfortunately as I make my way south down Vanderbilt Beach. All right, I got to run. I'm going to switch over to Facebook. You can follow the continuation of my beach walk there. Southwest Florida Television on Facebook. Hope to see you there. If not, have an awesome Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with me. I might be back a little later on YouTube for another live feed as I wrap up my morning. We'll see how the day, the morning goes. But right now, I'm breathing and I'm not coughing. That's a good sign. Better than yesterday morning. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.